everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I finally have for you the 100 subscriber special. Um, sorry that it took this long. I know you're gonna see this video and be like, what, this took a month of planning? No, it, it didn't. It, it, I, I, uh, I stupidly just kept like cycling through ideas and the first few ideas I had involved my sister and like her helping and she doesn't really like to do things through the week you know during school and stuff and and then it just ended up not happening and then the one we didn't like like I didn't like and so so we're finally here now um but yeah it, it just kept getting delayed and crap like that so um but first off um we're gonna head over here so first off um, as you can tell, we're going to be, or I'm going to be answering the few Q&A questions I got for the 100 subscriber special. Um, figure best to just start off with that. Um, and as you know, um, or as you can see, um, this time around I have the top of Chrome cut off for you guys because it's nothing that exciting, don't, don't get too, don't, don't get too excited, but I wanted to keep the things I have coming a surprise, so it, you know, just not, you know, have a little spoiler cover at the top there, so, um, the only downside of that is the far right of the screen is cut off for you guys, but I checked and there shouldn't be anything that you guys should miss with it being the right side of the screen cut off. Anyway, um, so let's just go ahead and hop right in with these. Um, um I want to say thank you first off. Um, to the, to the few people who ask questions and stuff like that. I mean, I, I got probably even more than what I would have expected with being, you know, obviously smaller. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for that. Um, so first off, um, Joshy Zilla asked, what do you hope to do next with going forward with YouTube? Congrats, by the way. Well, thank you, Josh. And, um... It's kind of a hard I mean, I don't know, it's it's only a hard question because I haven't thought about it that much. Um, because obviously mostly what I do now is, I mean, that's pretty much exclusively what I do is gameplay and, um, I've been doing like the, the re, the fan fiction, the whatever, the whatever you want to call it, the reading stories. Um, um, so I guess, um, because I'm not too worried about you know, I'm pretty confident with being able to do the whole, like, game recording thing. Like, that doesn't- it's not something I'm really worried about, um, so I don't think about it that often. Um, I- I guess wanting to move forward, I just want to maybe get comfortable doing more, like, skit-type things, and branching out and just doing other stuff, I guess. Like, um, something similar to the whole re cursed reading thing, but, like, expanding on that. Like, not necessarily more reading, but, like, things like that. Things like that that aren't, you know, just gameplay. Um, da 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 We'll skip Hyde, because he asked things later down. Um, congrats, fam. What's your favorite thing about making videos? Uh, Lil Creeper asks. Um, I guess I'd say, like, um, I mean, I guess... I mean, for starters, I mainly for, start, ugh, for starters I mainly do it because I I have fun doing it, and I've I've discovered I've discovered finally having fun with it in the like last year. Like, um, cause there were several times throughout my life I tried to do it. Like, you can you can right now go to the the ancient cringe playlist, and you could see like some old like pretty old stuff from when I was like. 13, 14 that I've just kept because it's, and it has my sister in it and stuff too. Like, we just kept them for, like, it's nothing, it's nothing I was shaved of. It's just, it's just what you would expect. It's exactly, think of what you would think of, like, a 13-year-old trying to do on YouTube because she likes YouTube, and then you're there. Um, but, like, yeah, I guess i just say it's mainly I'm having fun with it finally, and my favorite part of doing it is... Um, I guess I haven't even fully, like, I'm, like, getting off track. Um, my favorite part of it is, 
is getting, I, I guess, getting to feel like at least someone out there is like, even if it's just a few people, like, enjoy watching me play something. It's, it's fun. Like, the idea of that in and of itself is really fun to me. Um... Okay, so Leek asks, will we have a Roblox gaming series, or a Roblox collab series number nine, or number nine, number 69 trending for gaming? I can't guarantee that we will get the exact 69 spot on trending, but I definitely do want to play Roblox eventually, and yes, Leek, you're more than welcome to join me, as you know. Um, so Marshy asks, um, our congratulations, um, here, uh, what's your favorite thing about the Layton series? Um, I did a small video about that, um, it's not, it's not that good, it wasn't like, it's, it was like my first, like, scripted video I did, and it, it's not all that great in my eyes, like, um, but I did answer in that, but I'll answer here too, obviously, um, and I'll try to not go on and on, because I could go on probably, as you guys could guess, for years. Um, so usually when I, when I answer this question, it's, the top is characters, second story, um, because as much as I like the stories, like, that's, the, like, I really like all the stories in each of the games, um, some just more than others, but, like, I feel like the characters, like, with how much variety there is, and it's one of those games where there's so much important to NPCs and stuff, and, like, there's not, it's not a bunch of repeat, like, I mean, obviously there's reoccurring characters, but I mean, like, it's not just tons of the same you know what I mean? Everyone has a personality, and, like, even if they don't talk that much or they're not present that much, it's like they put a lot of effort into the personalities of the characters, and I really like that. Um, so honestly, I feel like, I mean, obviously I wouldn't want the story to be shit, but I mean, I feel like you could take the latent characters and the style of characters that they do and put them in a lot of different settings, and I would still enjoy it, so that's why I say characters first. Um, so yeah, that's my favorite, but I also like the gameplay a lot. I do feel like the whole puzzle gameplay aspect ties directly into everything else. Like I feel like if you took like if you took out the store or if you took out the gameplay and it was just a visual novel, I don't feel like it'd be the same game at all. Because so much like if you took out the puzzle element, like 50% of the dialogue wouldn't even make sense. So it would definitely be different. Um so yeah there's a lot of things. Like that's but I would say we're just gonna go with characters. Um, da, da, da. oh, what's your favorite level five series? If it's the if it's Layton, then what's your second favorite one? Um, definitely Yokai Watch. Um, it's something I got into a few years ago. Um, and I very much enjoy it. Um, I won't go on and on, but I would just say like, cause I think that was the most annoying thing is like so many people think it's just a Pokemon clone, and I, I it couldn't be further from the truth. I mean, they both have the whole monster collection thing, but, like, if you're just interested in, like, monster collection games in general, I'd say give it a try. It's, it's really fun. Like, I like it a lot. Like, the battle, the battle system is very different. Um, it's very interesting, but yeah, and, and it's, a, it's a more goofy series. I'll give it that. Like, my friend can't, doesn't like it because of that. Like, it's very wacky and goofy and, and very Japanesey. like, um, so yeah, that, but yeah, I like it a lot. Um, my favorite level five game that doesn't, isn't really a series is Fantasy Life, though. That is an amazing 3DS game. Go play that. If you, if you like RPGs, like, give that a try. Um, okay. Finally. Yeah, finally. Okay, I'm just making sure I'm not missing anything. So we have a few questions from Hyde. Um, if you had the possibility to record whatever game you wanted right now without buying any expensive emulators or capture cards, which game would it be? Well, that's a pretty good question. I, like, um, I'm gonna, like, so right now the top thing I want to play for my channel is either one of the Zelda CDI games. I, I mean, I know there's the third one that's, like, the, the weird, like, photorealistic one. It looks interesting, but, like, the two that are top priority are Wand of Gamelon and, um, Faces of Evil. And I know that that's, like, the only- Because that's the thing, like, I can emulate them. It's just I've been having trouble getting them to work and stuff like that. But that's, like, the top thing I want to do. Um, it's hard for me to say- I feel like I'd want to do some Switch stuff. Um, I can't decide, like, it'd probably be fun to play Mario Odyssey or something again for you guys. Or, 
or like play the Castlevania. Like that's the thing, the Castle like I could play that emulated. Like, um, it's hard because there's I'm in such a retro mode. Like I, I because that's like the things I know I can do. Um, like something like like because the thing I would say GameCube or Wii too. Like something on that. Um, like maybe Wario World or Wind Waker or something. Um, it's just like. I don't think my computer is good enough. I, I don't even try. I should try downloading Dolphin sometime because I don't even know. My laptop's not like garbage and it's pretty new too, but like I don't know how well it would run Dolphin, but maybe I could see. Um, so I know that I didn't answer that one very specifically, but it's like I can't think of like something on Switch or like Wii U that I've been like dying or like or like anything like that that I've been dying to show, but um. Yeah, top game I definitely want to do is one of the CDI games. Um, so that hopefully that'll happen soon once I'm can unstupefy myself and and get the freaking emulator to work. Um, second question: Can you please make art of Ganondorf and Leighton Mud Wrestling? Well, you know that I I mean Hyde, I know you're watching this. And I know you know that I already I saw this question. I immediately messaged you about it. So um, no spoilers, but you know. Um, so anyway, um, okay, so last, last question, it's a really good one. What's the worst Disney could possibly remake in live action? Or the, what's the worst Disney movie they could relate, remake in live action? So, it's funny, because I'm looking, okay, so, like, pretty much all of my, I could see all my Disney movies from here, I'm not even kidding, like, my, it's, it's just right over there, like, where my DVDs are, um, Sad thing is, Disney has pretty much already remade all of my favorite, like, Disney princess movies. Aladdin, they're doing The Little Mermaid, God Help Us, um, Beauty and the Beast, Cinderella. Um, I feel like the top three worst ones, and I'm gonna say these because I feel like they're just, like, freaking feminist, like, 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 playgrounds, and I just know they would be complete shit if they did it. Um, uh, which, I was gonna say something about Mulan, like, I'll get to that later, but, like, um, or just know that I know they're doing that, and I like it a lot, too. Um, top ones, what I would say would be, um, and I'm not gonna include any new ones, like, I, God forbid, I've heard they've, there's rumors of a live-action Frozen, which I like, I like Frozen a lot, and it's like, I just don't freaking want that. Um, there's no point. There's, I mean, there's no point to the others, but there's no point to this. There's really no point to that. So, in matters of older things, I'd say Snow White, Pocahontas, and Atlantis. Number one, well, Atlantis is my favorite non-Disney princess Disney movie, and I just, no, on all accounts, no, just don't want it to happen. Pocahontas and Snow White are ones that I both feel like they would change so much of because to to not offend anyone or to, you know, be be a uh, modern and progressive and shit. So, cuz I have a feeling with Snow White they would just I don't freaking know. They 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 like they'd probably would like take out the prince altogether. Um just crap like that. I just feel like since that is such that's such a movie that people already pick on anyway. Like, I just don't want that to happen. Um, Pocahontas, I feel like they would... It's one that they would pretty much alter to. Like, I feel like that's one that would be like a... We gotta tiptoe around it. Because if... Because there's already people that think that Pocahontas is racist. Even though that's the whole message of the... Like, that's a big part of the movie is to... Like, I could go on and on. But I'd say those are the top three is... Snow White, Atlantis, and Pocahontas are, like, the ones that I'm looking at and being like, mm, yeah. But they've already done most of my personal favorites, so I can't, I can't, you know, anyway. So, yeah, this, this video turned into the, the live-action Disney rant. Um, so, okay, well, we did a pretty good time on that. Um, but yeah, thank you all again for asking me some good questions and some questions I could get ranty on. You, I'm sure everyone everyone wants that. That's what everyone's here for. Um, so, next on the dock, I'm, I'm so excited. Um, so I decided, for funsies, I'm going to take a quiz, two quizzes, 
two quizzes to find out if I am a true gentleman because I I feel like I owe it to you guys. I feel like since I have the late name in my username, I, I should prove myself. I can't I can't go on any longer without proving to you guys that I am like we have to prove this. But I am I am I don't I almost said I'm livid. I I don't know what like I am just so excited. I actually found a mother freaking BuzzFeed quiz. Freaking BuzzFeed quiz on how on so but the thing is, is I was expecting, I'm like, oh god, like, this is just gonna be modernized, like, it's just, it's gonna just be a bunch of are you sexist questions, basically, because I have a feeling that's what a lot of, in this current year, people would think a gentleman is, is just not being sexist, that's all, that's all it is, you know? But it seems like, it's, it says that it's done by this Mr. Alan White from the UK, I mean, I don't know how true it was. I mean, I assume it's not a lie. I mean, I, I question everything BuzzFeed, but I'm going to assume that this person's really from the UK. Um, and I looked at, like, the top... Qu and it, it seems like it's going to be, like, a legitimate quiz. So let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead. Look at all this. <laughs> Miley Cyrus said she invented nipple pasties. Wow. I'm... It's another... I'm so glad I'm not someone who frequents this site. Anyway, so how much of a gentleman are you? Already, like, I'm already at maximum confusion on this first que question, so this is going to be great. Which of these statements is true of a quintessential suit? So I'm going to assume that just means a standard suit. Um, or, like, quintessential, like, you know, like, the bet, like, you know. Um, it has a sharp 90 degree angle between the shoulder and the sleeve. It's well padded so as to bulk up the shoulder line. I don't believe that's true. I don't think that there's some obsession with having super well padded suits. It has a large, and I'm talking like throughout all of history too. Like, I mean, I don't know. Like, that doesn't seem like something that would have happened back in the day. It doesn't seem like something now. It has a large area between the lapel and the collar, collar to show off more of your shirt. It should hug the waist as tightly as possible. I don't believe it's that either because typically female clothing is more of, um, I mean, I could see that with male clothing, too, like, one to, like, tighten. Um, so I think both of these sound, like, very plausible. I'm going to say this. Oh, oh, it's, it's going to tell me right away. Okay, cool. Okay, correct. Okay. It's supposed to show up your shape. Okay, so, yeah, that, that sounded, like, the most true to me. Because I didn't think, I'm like, I don't think there's something about showing off a lot of your shirt. You're about to kiss someone on the cheek in a social social situation. Which of these statements is true? You should kiss them on the left cheek first. If possible, you should attempt to air kiss. You should keep your hands above the waist at all times. You should try. I, I don't feel like this is true because that doesn't sound very... It, but that's the thing. I know when they do the air kiss thing, it's like people typically go like that, that. So maybe it is typical to go to the left so you don't accidentally like face bash them. Um, this, uh, I'm gonna say who gives a shit about this. I mean, if you're giving someone, like, a social kiss, they probably, I mean, I don't know. That sound, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say this. Oh. Be prepared to kiss on the right cheek, but the direction may suddenly change. Don't air kiss. Both cheeks is generally considered excessive in professional circumstances. Okay, so... I mean, I guess that makes sense. So you're not going like, to be going for their ass if you're just like, hey, buddy, here's a friend, you know, okay, okay. Which of these statements about dating is true? I mean, I'll, I'll give this to myself because this is not something I, I do. Like, we don't really do that kind of thing in the U.S., so at least around here we don't. Which of these statements about dating is true? The best way to ask a person out is with a well-crafted email. I'm going to say no to that. Answering texts during the date is acceptable, but calls are not. That sounds like BS, because I would think calls are way more important than text, honestly. If you're running late, it's better to text your date and let them know. You shouldn't try to get your date into bed. <sighs> That's hard, because I don't know what I don't know what year they're going for. Because I would say this, like, I, I would say no, it's probably not polite to, on the first date, be pressuring and being like, hey, you know, but I mean, like... They could always just say no, like, uh, like, um, because this sounds, I feel like this is the most true one, because I feel like these are like, I'm gonna say that, yep, 
Always ask your date out on a phone face-to-face. -face. Never look at your phone during the day. Give them your undivided attention. Call them if you're running late. And when it comes to doing the deed, always take the, take the lead from them. So yeah, I'm looking, I have to look at this from a male perspective. I mean, I don't know. I don't think it's wrong for a guy to act. Because women, women have their own, like, they have their own brain. If they want to say no, they can say freaking no. But I, I, like, I would say that for both sides. I would say women shouldn't do that either. Women should not be pressuring a guy. Like, you, like, I know there's, like, the whole stigma that guys always want it. But, but like, both, both of you can be nice. Um, and be polite. Um, when should you stand up for your date? Oh, okay, like, stand up from the table. Okay, I'm like, are we standing up, like, okay. Only if they go to the loo, if they've left the table for more than five minutes, when they enter the room for the first time, anytime, when they enter the room for the first time. I, I know, because I've seen that. Like, there's no need to keep springing up and down, it's just awkward, but it's polite to acknowledge. Yeah, who does that? I wouldn't do that, even when I'm out with friends, or, like, my husband, I don't, like, oh, I'm gonna get up and down from the table, like, but no, yeah, I've seen that, I've seen that in, like, shows and stuff, where it's like, oh, here comes this person, let's get up, who pays? Um, whoever requested the date pays for the pleasure. I, I don't think that's true. You should always go Dutch. I'm gonna, if we're talking about being a traditional gentleman, I'm gonna say a man. This is one, the one abiding rule. Going Dutch is possibly the greatest spoiler to romance. I, I've never heard of that, though. Whoever requested the date, like, I would have thought going Dutch before, because that's kind of a, you know, ma like, I, I don't know. You're on the tube. When must you offer a woman your seat? At any opportunity, never. If the woman is pregnant or elderly. Only on the Jubilee or Bakelou. Okay. Any opportunity. What? It used to be obligatory ob ob bleh 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 in the past, but now it's a matter of personal judgment. Yeah, I guess. I mean, yeah, I don't. I'm not gonna judge a guy if he doesn't immediately sacrifice his seat. I just that's. I'd say any opportunity for anyone if they look like they need a seat. Uh, but yeah. Um, which of these statements about handshaking is true? Be firm as possible. Establish eye contact. Your fingers should never grip the other person's palm. Your hand should be limp. I'm gonna say be firm as possible. Oh yeah, it's okay, but not too firm. Never limp. Yo, I know that. And your, uh, I I guess yeah, it makes sense. You're not gonna like grab someone's hand and be like, okay. You're wearing a black tail coat, single breasted, black trousers, a white Mar Marcella shirt, a thin white bow tie, and black. Patent lace-up shoes. What are you wearing? Oh, shit. It's black tie. What? 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 Compl you're in white tie. Compliment with a black... I... I did... I've never heard... I've always thought it was black tie. I, I never... I've never heard white tie. Frick. Frick you. What's the correct amount of pound... Amount to tip a hotel bellboy in units? I feel five sounds like too little. One or two cents. One or two units per case. Oh, see. I'm... Mm. I feel like I'm going to say t around ten because I feel like you wouldn't judge based on, like, how much there is. Like, no one's going to assess that. Like, you're just going to give them a... One or two... Oh, frick. God dang it. I should... Okay, I feel like I'll get this one. Even <laughs> I feel like I know what this is going to ask. You're at the urinal. Which of these statements is correct? You should never leave an empty urinal between you and the next man. No, that's I know that's like a thing. Don't use the cubicle if you can just go to next if you can if you if you can just go to next next to someone. Never use a hand to balance against the wall for a steadier aim. I'm going to say that or is correct. I'm not going to say that's correct. Beware of your surroundings. Make sure you look left and right. I feel like... Okay, I feel like these two are... It's not these two. Because I feel like those are true. Those are definitely true. 
Um, but I don't think, I don't know. This I'm gonna say this. What? I'm trying to keep away from it. Oh, oh, because it's like, oh, it's about personal space. God dang it. Which of these statements about napkins is true? You can use you can use them to dab your mouth. I know that's true. Well. You should probably not Frick, these all seem true. It's I, that I don't that no. The correct way to use them is to tuck them into your shirt collar. I feel like that's I f mm. Okay, yeah, because yeah, they're not bibs. Like what the frick? Put them in yeah, you put them in your lap. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're the classic office and business shoes with distinctive toe oh Oxfords. What? Brogues? What's the- Wait, and Oxfords are the- ep Wait, wait, wait. Derbr- Derbr- Blah, are less formal. And Oxfords are the epitome of English style, so much that James Bond- They're not pattern on the toe. Dang, well, Oxfords is the only ones I knew. God dang it. Which of these is acceptable at a gentleman's club? I- I don't know. Well, wait, wait, what's gentleman's club? Well, what is that? Is that like... I... I'm gonna say tipping the staff. What? Frick! As long as you let... Uh, it never network or talk to... And tipping the staff is generally not advised. I, I don't know! I don't know what... I don't know what a UK gentleman's club is like. How many more are there? God freaking dang it. I'm failing this so badly. This is like a legit... <laughs> well, I'm learning... Well, we're learning, though. That's what's important. Which of these statements about underwear is true? It should always be patterned. Navy underwear is acceptable. Going can commando is not just for emergencies. It's okay. Uh, no. That seems- Yeah, because all these, no way. No way. Like, who cares about being patterned? That sounds stupid. That also- That's- No. You're wearing a black or gray coat. Usually black. Match it- well, Okay. Okay, so we're talking. This is black tie. Frick! God dang it! You're wearing morning dress. I yeah. I don't know. I don't. I don't know these names. God dang it! Oh no! Oh, guys, we. I. This is a tragedy. We gotta. We gotta. I've gotta get myself into shape. Uh no. Yeah, I just, I have to, like, man, I didn't realize, like, how much, like, little, I mean, I know this is, like, stuff that's, like, who cares, like, to a degree. Um, some of the stuff I can't blame myself for not knowing. But now, let's go on, well, let me, uh, I was just checking that. Okay, so then I have another one. Maybe this one will be less like, uh, not pra maybe this will be more practical rather than that one that was more like actual etiquette, and I wasn't expecting that from BuzzFeed. So you've uh, you've got my approval on that quiz, BuzzFeed. Thanks for that. Okay, which of these are you most likely to do on a first date? Pick up the help a woman out of her dress. I know it's not that one. Hold the. See now this is the thing. I still I don't know what. Because this, I feel like if I said this, that'd be like, no, 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 no. P I'm just gonna say pick up the bill. That's the most standard. Okay. How often do you dress your best? Funerals, wedding, court hearings, every day, whenever I can. Special occasions, whenever I'm expected to dress up. I I'm gonna say that. Like, yeah. Like, whenever it's expected. I feel like that's the most, yeah. Do you hold doors open for anyone all the time? Only for ladies. There's always the push to. Open. If I'm, I'm, I say all the time. Like it, it, like I'm not trying to be like, oh, I'm a saint. It's just something I do. Like it, it's just something. It's a snap judgment I usually do. Do you know how to tie a tie? Um, I've been able to do it before. I, I'm gonna say I st I'm still working on it. No, I do, but I don't use the because I've done it before. I know I have. 
The building you're in is on fire. Which of these statements applies? Women and children first. Every man for himself. Obviously women and children first. Like. Which of these is your favorite style of dancing? Honestly, I know that this is gonna, like, I, out of these, I would say ballroom. Like, I would just say that. Like, how frequently do you give a lady flowers? Only for mom? <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna say only for, her, only for mom because I've only given them to, like, family. I mean, I know I'm not, like, yeah. Rip. Rip everyone else. Only for mom. Oh boy, here we go. How do you feel about the feminist movement? I respect it, but I don't agree with some of the me methodology. It's just women trying to be men. I'm all for it. I don't like the extremists. I, I'm a mix between these two. I'm gonna say this. I respect it. Like, I respect the idea of what they're trying to do, but no, I don't agree with, like, 90% of freaking how they, how they execute shit. How do you feel about watching women fight? Um, it's awesome, especially if there's mud involved. I'll break up the fight at all costs. I don't like it, but it's not my place. It's cool. Like, I'll say I'll break it up because it is. I mean, if we're talking about, like, freaking freaking WWE, where it's like, yeah, like, they're supposed to. Who cares? But, like, if we're out in public, I'd say if, if I feel safe enough doing it, I'll break it up. Like, I would try to. I've never been, like... I've never been in that situation, though. Would you ever let a woman pay for your dinner? I, I'll say that. Would prefer that I... Because I feel like that'd be me. Like, I wouldn't be embarrassed. And, like, yeah. I don't mind. Like, I like to... Because like, I do feel like that is a thing for guys. It's like, it's not like, oh, you're a pathetic woman who can't pay. It's like, it's kind of the feeling of, I, you know, I want to treat you. Like, I feel like that's how it is. I f okay, so this is, ooh, okay, so yeah, I, I think that's the thing, is like, I'm, I'm a pretty, I'm, I have, I have a pretty gentlemanly soul, I'm very, you know, but like, we, I've got to study more on the technicalities, you know, like, what kind of suit I'd be wearing, you know, um, what my shoes are called, you know, stuff like that, but, we, but, but, don't worry, we've got it, we've got it on lock, we've got, okay. So we've had our fun with that. Now, before we continue on, um, I'm going to just go ahead and lump this in with this. Um, I recently hit 200, 200 followers on Instagram, and I did a art raffle. And so whoever gets picked, I'll message them, and they'll get art. That they I'll, they'll get a drawing from me. Um, so I have I already loaded the post in. I already loaded that in. Um, so we got nine unique comments. Thank you for everyone who commented for that, too. I mean, I know you, it's a contest, so that's, you know, easier to just say, hey, I want to enter, but hey, it's, you know, it's always appreciated. Um, so yeah, we're going to pick the random winner. Because I wanted to do this. Hey! Snowflake Sparkle Gore, you are the, you are the winner! Yeehaw! And I will, I'll take a, I'm going to go ahead and take a screenshot of this, and I will... Put it on Instagram uh, later, probably after this video goes up, and I will message you. So congratulations, woohoo! Um, <laughs> I sound so excited, but um, but yeah, that's someone actually. That's that's neat. I, someone I've been seeing around a lot more. Um, or that is a recent recent person I've seen on Instagram. Um, so yeah, figured I'd go ahead and do that too. Um, I know you guys probably wouldn't think like I but I figured with like only a few people I would rather do it this way just so it seems it's, it's as random as possible um so okay before I go we are going to have a little more fun we are going to play some flash games because that's that's one of my favorite pastimes my favorite pastime for just dumbness so okay so our first game, well, first we're going to allow Flash to run. Um, the Fly Squad. We got a, got a dress-up game. Okay, yeah, sorry if you, um, if, if there's skips, um, it's me skipping past loading screens and stuff. Okay, so. Select a girl, body one. Body two. Ooh. 
Okay, so I think we're gonna go for two just so we have a nice we just have a nice medium. Okay, so think <sighs> given the circumstances and given that I've seen this game before, we're going to we're going to make the biggest like <sighs> we're gonna make the biggest Tumblr user like ever. Okay, that looks so um Okay, good. We gotta have like some, yeah, yeah. There we go. Um, what's oh, eyeshadow? Let's make it like, yeah. There we go. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, I gotta have attached as always. Um. Yeah, there we go. I mean, the titty tattoo is like a must. Like that's like, we can't not have that. Yeah, I, we're, we're going with that coloration because I don't care enough. Okay. Um. Ooh, yeah, that looks. It's kind of a nice, like, bitch face. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah, that's good. That's good. We've got to give her freckles because, like. Holy. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Like, freckles are, like, the most diverse thing in the universe, so. Um, obviously we can't have anything that is, like, below the neck. That's just not acceptable. We're gonna give her, like, a pink ombre-like look. Hombre. Let's give her a little bit of strands. Gotta make her... Okay. I do, I will say I do like this about it. Like, that is a pretty neat, like, thing. Um... Let's, yeah, let's do that. Like, that's, no, that's a bit, like, the, yeah, 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 there we go, okay. I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. Um. Hmm. Yeah, we just gotta, yeah, that was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh well, that's that's lovely. It's funny because I was seeing them like that's like what a baby will wear, but it actually looks kind of cute. Like actually, like on the. <laughs> Let's give her the yeah. That looks yeah. I'm liking that. I'm liking that. We gotta make her like at least you. Know, she's kind of tumblery, but she's got like ooh dang. But she's also you know she she's a reasonable fashionista. We gotta, we gotta go 50-50. Oh, yeah, that's like a... Gotta give her, like, a feminist, like, work headband. Um... Let's give her, like... Some heresy, like, cross earrings. Um... But they're gonna be black. They're gonna be black. Oh, no, there we go. We gotta do, like, the little... You can't see him that much, but, like... No, the, I like the big, yeah, there we go, yeah. That's pretty, that's a big piece of material. Um. It's a piece of glass. Oh, of course, it's like some, like, port art portfolio. Um, yeah, let's give her a phone. Let's give her a book. Oh, no, no. Frick, that's an awkward way to hold a book. Um. I think- I think we're good. I think she looks beautiful. Oh wait, she can have animals? Hell yeah. Let's give her like a- oh. Ooh, wait. Come on, boy. Ooh, there we go. That is her- This is her, um, her kin. This is like her, um- <sighs> I don't know what I'm trying to say. Like her furry spirit animal. There you go. That's like- <laughs> And this is, like, what would this, is just like, just be like if you were doing a little blood. Here, let's make the, there, the, the wolf was fighting for her. The wolf, the wolf was, um, protecting his master. There we go. That's, whoa! Oh, and then she's got, she's got her, her naked squad with her. Her naked, diverse squad with her. And she's the pack leader. 
<laughs> that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I like it. Oh man. No, no, honesty, like this is a pretty uh it's pretty it's pretty elaborate. You could pretty much I mean, like, obviously, you know, you can make beautiful things like this, but like you can make some pretty neat stuff with this, so um yeah, don't don't <sighs> don't think I'm trying to throw too much shade. Okay. This is one that is um I'm very excited for. Um this is one me and my sister found. Whoa, what did I just do? Oh, whoops. I opened- I don't even know if you can see that. I opened my art program accidentally. Okay, so... Yes. Beauty guru makeup tips. What all the kids need. Oh, oh. But we gotta wait first. We gotta wait. Gotta see this ad. Oh. Okay, I'm just shutting that off because I'm gonna have my own music, I'm sure. So he, and he's gonna teach us. He's gonna teach us. Oh, yeah. I just love that this is a thing. Like, for all the the bappies who watch, like, Jeffree Star. Come on, you stupid. You gotta, you gotta put it on your face like a butterfly. If you don't, you might as well just kill it, like, end your life. Foundation to hide imperfection. Use a small amount. No cakiness. Keep your sponge moist so it blends everything out. You've got it. Uh. Oh, there we go. You've got it, daddy makeup guru. Yeehaw. Cracked lips are gross, so use a lip balm to hydrate your lips. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, setting powder. I don't think I've ever seen anyone that I thought, like, I mean, I guess I've seen people with pretty crusty lips, but they were, like, so crusty beyond the point, like, I don't think lip balm would help them, girl. Here comes the fun part. Makeup. I love glossy lips, so plump and juicy. Let's do that. Eyeshadow is like painting. Be creative. Swatch your fave colors. Yes! yes! Yes, girl. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we got a, we got a bold insta baddie brows. It's like having big painted in eyebrows, like exclusive to Instagram, I guess. Oh, I like that. That's cool. Don't wear contact lenses if your eyes are sensitive, or if you don't like shoving plastic in your eyeballs. I can't stand the idea of contacts. Like, I know, like, like my mom wears them and stuff. It's like I just can't, like. I can't imagine doing it. Like, I would much rather just wear some glasses. I don't care if you look like a... I don't care if you look like a... Dork. <laughs> so... <laughs> oh my god. That's what I need, guys. Why don't I have that? Why do I not have... Like, a fan? Wait. Aren't we done? Can I... Is this it? Don't I get to, like... Is it broken? I, don't I get to, like, you know, do your hair and shit? I guess not. I, I thought I thought I did. Maybe I'm remembering wrong. I, 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 as far as I know, I thought, like, a thing would pop up to, like, move on to the next thing. Now, that's what we- I need a subscribe fan, guys. Like... <sighs> okay. Now, let's play something that, to me, is not crappy. This is some, like, I have a weird obsession with, like, food serving games. And this is one of my favorites. And we're gonna go right and hard. Don't even give a shit. Okay, so. Got him already. I'm already, lo I'm already losing it. Okay, and then... Da, 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 da. Wait, I do want the sound. Uh. Oh frick! Where's the? Okay. Uh. 
where's the, there it is. Jesus lady, want the whole dang store. Okay, okay, we've got this, we've got this. We got this, guys. And then... Uh... There you go. Get away. Um... I want I, I wanna know what this is. Like, I wanna know, is there actually a place somewhere that like serves popsicles with like like a sauce on them like is i don't know what that is like i'm very interested though like highly interested I, like i don't get the point i don't know how good it would be but i really want to try it whatever the heck it is is that the i think that's the it's too light though. God dang it! I guess we'll find out. Um. Dang it. Maybe it's the chair. Yeah, there we go. There you go. Oh yeah. <laughs> I just like yeah, yeah, yeah. High quality. I can at least say that I know the stuff from this DD games is like always pretty cute. Uh... Man, everyone wants this chocolate. God dang it, click. Okay, get out of my face. You know, this all seems like a pretty good deal for this. Like, that, what all that she got was like six dollars. Like, damn. Oh, I'm a potato. It literally shows you, like, up at the top which one to pick. What am I missing? Oh, yeah, this. Okay. I'm just trying. I'm trying. I'm relying just on looking at the picture too much. But I mean, it's working pretty good for me so far, so. <laughs> Wow, that was easy. Ooh. Wait, 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 what are we missing? Oh, this, doy. All right. Okay, I guess, you know, I could probably sit and play this for freaking ever. Um, maybe I'll do, like, a whole Flash game episode just dedicated to, like, to, like, food serving games. Because I honestly could. Um, to finish us off, though, I have a very, very special <laughs> Undertale the Mistletoe, a Flash game. One Christmas, a mysterious mistletoe appeared in the Undertale world. In the underground, characters left. <laughs> Sans is special. Oh, you gotta play five times. Why would you want Flowey? I guess. I, I guess. Why would you want? <laughs> we know who I'm picking. Tap the key shown to move the characters closer. Oh frick! No. <sighs> oh lordy, he coming. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Frick. <laughs> I just want to know what what was going th like <laughs> stop <laughs> stop <laughs> stop <laughs> I'm instinctually I'm just frisk nothing oh my god you did it comment Papyrus X Fricks Frisk forever if you got here. Oh my god. Obviously, let's do. Oh, the best ship. The litter. The best ship ever. Oh my god. I 
I can't tell if I have tears in my eyes from I just I, I, I just I'm getting like an allergy attack right now as I'm doing this. And I look like I'm I'm not crying over this. <laughs> Time's running out. Oh shit. Oh no. <laughs> I'm just having like a <laughs> Can't. It won't stop. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, my eyes are watering. Oh my god. I think that means it's time to stop. Co guys, comment down below either Naps to Bluke X Papyrus or Forever or Frisk X Papyrus Forever. Should Show your loyalty to your favorite ship. Oh. Five days at Jump Scare Academy dating sim. Oh my god. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Five days at... Shit, what was that called? Don't you dare. No. That looked amazing. It was by the same person. Oh my god. Oh, well, we'll find that. We have to find... You know, that's a good idea. I just got... We, maybe we'll... Next time... Maybe we'll... Let's see. You know, let's get over to the talking screen first, okay? Like, oh my god. Oh my god. Um... God, get, the, get this away from me. God, okay. <laughs> that would actually be pretty... I need to... We should play some visual novels. Like, or some dating... Not visual novels, like... Well, I mean... Kind of the same thing, but we should play some dating sims. That'd be amazing. Okay. Just getting some nice ideas here while we're wrapping this up. Um, so yeah, sorry if today's video has been ridiculously long. Um, I just wanted to make it more than just me reading the questions and stuff like that. Um, but, uh, thank you all for joining me here for having an allergy attack while playing Undertale Mistletoe Simulator. Like, that was pretty fun. Um... So, yeah, thank you guys once again, and maybe next time, like, when we do, like, a uh, 200 subscriber special, it won't be as, uh, shitty. We can only hope. We can only hope and pray. It, we, there's only up to go from here, so, um, I, at least I think. At least I hope. I mean, we could go down, but I'm pretty sure where you can only go up from here. So, um, once again, I want to thank you guys so much. Um, <laughs> thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for... Um, you know, we're a little bit over 100 subs now. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much. And let me know down below if me playing Dating Sims is something you'd be interested in. Um, and we, maybe we'll try to find that. I mean, there's probably a trillion FNAF ones, so we'll, we'll find one. We'll, we'll do one. Um, so anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!